The Miami-Dade Water and Sewer Department of Miami-Dade County operates a water system that serves more than 2.3 million people in an area of approximately 400 square miles and is considered to be the largest public water utility in the Southeast United States and the fifth largest utility in the nation. Nighter day water and sewer leak detection crews are armed with various listening devices, sound recorders, even computers with state-of-the-art leak detection software, checking for leaks throughout the county's entire distribution system. A small glimpse of the department's leak detection program and its different operational components is addressed in this video. With more than 7,500 miles of pipe, ranging from 1-inch pipe to 102-inch pipe, and approximately 115,000 valves, the Miami-Dade Water System provides direct retail water service to 442,000 customers and maintains about 36,000 fire hydrants. Back in the mid-1980s, priority was given to water conservation in order to minimize water loss. Hence, the department supported the creation of a leak detection program and developed what is considered today to be one of the most sophisticated and successful programs nationwide. In 2000, the department restructured the leak detection program and standardized policies and procedures. Essential to the operations of the program is the highly trained staff that carries out all leak detection related tasks. The program can be best described as a three-tier program. It uses two types of field units, deployment and pinpoint units, and a data management section. State-of-the-art equipment facilitates the leak detection process and the most frequently used consists of the logger, the correlating logger, the correlating machine, the aquascope, and the geophone. Loggers are small recording devices that store information on the water distribution system electronically. One type of logger can detect leaks and provide graphic information, whereas other types of loggers have the added ability to pinpoint leaks. The Aqualog 80 logger, the SoundSense Carolina logger, the Z-Core Carolina logger, and the Perma logger are used to survey the system. This type of equipment pinpoints leaks after they have been detected. Information is entered, a correlation is generated in seconds between two points, resulting in the exact location of the leak measured by feet. Up until 1998, the aquascope and geophones were used to carry out system surveys in the traditional manner. Each foot of pipe was surveyed by walking each pipeline, block by block, to determine if there was a potential leak or not. As technology progressed and other equipment became available, the aquascope and geophone took a back seat to the high-performance correlator logger and correlator machine used today. The department divides the county into four sections, North, Central East, Central West, and South. The leak survey units start logger deployment in the central portion of the county and work their way to the southern end. Typically, more leaks are detected in the south as soil in the southern end is more compact and dense, facilitating detection, whereas the ground in the northern section is made up of sand and material that acts to mute sound rather than amplify it. Deployment units work one distribution atlas page at a time. Atlas pages are divided by square miles. After the south section of the county is completed, 
units were from the central section towards the north until the entire county is surveyed. The deployment site and the sequence of each deployment is planned and indicated on the Atlas pages issued. The data management section plays a pivotal role in the leak detection process. The section employs three leak detection equipment specialists who perform various tasks dedicated to the leak detection program. Loggers are programmed to start collecting data at specific intervals of time and hand it to Service Technician 1 for deployment. After the loggers are retrieved and returned to the office, the data is downloaded and analyzed by the data management section. The leak detection equipment specialists process the information and perform an in-depth analysis of the line graphs produced by the information downloaded from each logger. In certain cases, noises related to traffic or electric lines may be picked up by the logger. However, it is possible to distinguish between these and potential leaks by utilizing noise filters to isolate the leak sound. Not only does the data management section process the data retrieved by the loggers, but also runs a workshop for the repair and maintenance of equipment. The overall mission of Service Technician 2 is to pinpoint the exact location of the leak and to determine whether the leak is truly a leak, water use, or some other noise. Process starts by narrowing the leak area to the loudest point using noise amplifiers. Aquascope, HD10, and LD15 by surveying all accessible points, hydrants, meters, and valves. Once the area is selected, underground water utilities are located using Surelock or MetroTech and marked with blue paint, including size and type. The procedure of exactly locating the water leak begins by performing a correlation between two or more points within the potential leak area, entering the distance, type of material, and diameter into the main unit of the correlator. It compares the leak noises picked by both sensors and displays the footage where exact location of the leak is. Rotcom LC2100, LC2500, or Z Core is used in this process. Locations for clearance are requested to confirm the exact point of the leak by driving rods. Area to be worked on is white lined. and work ticket is written. As a result of the commitment and the investment made in the program, the expertise, equipment, and manpower was attained to reduce the system serving time from seven years to one calendar year. Furthermore, as technology continues to improve, the equipment utilized by leak detection units will also improve making it easier to get the job done. Two noteworthy benefits of the program have been the reduction of water loss and the dollar's savings. Other benefits derived from the success of the program consists of improved water service to customers, more efficient use of existing water structures, and reduced legal liability by better protecting public property.